Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to solve a system of equations by graphing. So let's first off uh, look at how do we use solve a, a system of equations by graphing. What does it look like? Well, you're given two equations, which is a system of equations, two equations working together. Sometimes there's more equations, but we're just going to be working on two. And what you're going to do is you're going to graph these two lines. And what we're doing is we're trying to find the solution. And it's the intersection uh, or the point of intersection where these two lines cross. And ours happens to be right there. And so this is in the form of an xy coordinate pair, also known as an ordered pair. And so in this case, our solution is negative 1, 4. So that's what a solution looks like in a graphed system of equations. So before we, we, uh, we graph two systems, let's just recap how to graph an equation in the first place. So most of our equations will be in slope-intercept form. And uh, what that means is it'll be in this generic form, y equals mx plus b. And uh, if you'll recall, the, the b represents the y-intercept, right? And our y-intercept here is 1. Now, the m represents the slope. And in our case here, it's negative 2. And so what we're going to do is we start with the y-intercept and we put a point on the y-axis at that number. So we put a point right there at 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go from that point and use our slope to find the next point. Now anytime you have a whole number or an integer as your slope, you're going to want to put it over 1. That gives us the rise and the run. And so this particular slope is going to go down 2 over 1. And so we put a point there. Now, if you want to put more points, just keep going down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and then you'll make your line. Okay, and so that's just a little recap on how to graph an equation in slope-intercept form. So now let's try graphing a system. So we have our two equations in our xy coordinate plane, and we'll start with our first equation, y equals 2x minus 4. So we start with that negative 4 on the y-axis. We put a point there. And then we use our slope. And since it's a whole number, we put it over 1. And it's going to go up 2 over 1. And so you can put as many points as you want and then draw a line through it. And then we start with our next one. Our plus 3 at the end is our, um, our y-intercept. And then we use our slope negative 1 over 3, and we go down 1 over 3. Now the run is always going to the right. It will always be positive. So down 1 over 3 to the right. And then we draw our line, and we can see exactly where those two intersect. And that this one happens to be at 3, 2. Now, most systems of equations have one solution. I mean, the majority of all the ones that you will be doing in real life uh, equations and real life word problems are going to have one solution where those two lines cross. Um, but there are two uh, scenarios where this is not the case. So let's suppose you're graphing these lines. And here's your first line. And there's your second line. And so they appear to be parallel, so we've got a little problem here. These two will never cross. So let's take a look at their equations, and you can see that their slopes are the same. And so if your slopes are the same, then there will never be a solution to this system. Okay, And you would just put no solution. Now let's take a look at the second circumstance. So you're given these two equations, and I know one of them isn't in slope-intercept form, and that's done on purpose to uh, trick you. Um, and so the first one, we, uh, we graph this line, and there it is right there. And then when we, uh, there's several ways you can graph this one in standard form, but when we graph this, look where the line lands. It lands right on top of the other line. What this means is that this is the same line. 
It's the same equation, it's just written in a different way. And so what does this mean? It's a rare circumstance, but it means that there are infinite solutions, that every point on these two lines crosses, and so every point is a solution to this system. And there you have it. You just learned how to solve systems of equations by graphing. I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.